Shukrana Maharaj for giving me this great opportunity to speak in front of the Somerset Ashram Shang Sangat. Om Namah Shivai, Guruji Sada Sahai, Soham Maharaj. I am because you are. I exist today because of you. So Sangaji. Before I start my miraculous journey with Guruji, I need to uh, give you a short synopsis of how I got connected with Maharaj. I don't know kab. Kab ye hua Guruji? Janam se ya janmantar se? But ye kahungi ki 2018 mein Usha Gulati aunty, I don't see her in the Sangat today, brought me to the Somerset Ashram. I didn't connect to Maharaj at that time. I was like, okay, and it was Karvachot. And I'm a single woman. I've been divorced. Uh, so uh, it didn't have much of a meaning, Karvachot, everything, whatever, okay? But I came. I didn't connect with Maharaj, and Maharaj I'm sorry for that. After that, I kept coming to the temple on and off with other friends, would come, have his langar, sit through the Shabbat, you know, meditate. I love meditating. And uh, my spiritual journey actually started when I was going through my divorce and the entire crisis of separating uh, from a very long relationship. Anyways, that's all behind me now. And I used to seek refuge with Matarani. Uh, if any of you go to Durga Temple, you'll see me volunteering there a lot. So probably, you know, Matarani showed me the way to Guruji. Fast forward, 2020. I was going through a lot of crisis, you know, with COVID and everything. Then I started a small prayer group called Prarthana, and we would chant Hanuman Chalasa every Tuesday. We still do. And I was also going through a lot of conflicts with a lot of friends at work. Everywhere, there was all conflict around me. I'm like, you know, I am chanting so much. I am meditating so much. So what is wrong? What is it that I'm doing wrong? You know, and I wanted to run away. I don't know where. I wanted to leave everything and run away from life. And that's when, last year, around November, December, I started seeing Guruji everywhere. I would open WhatsApp, and somebody would send me a message of Guruji. Koi Guruji ka satsang bhej deta tha, koi Guruji ki photo bhej dete the, koi Guruji ka message bhej dete the. Then one day I said to my friend, very dear friend, Rajan auntie, she's also Guruji satsang, by the way, there was a Swaroop, a little one, in my house, and I had totally forgotten about that. I said, Patani Q, my Instagram Kolti Hu to Guruji ka message, my YouTube Kolti Hu to Guruji ka Sangat Satsang. I don't know what is going on. She told me, Chitali Maja Lagra, Guruji Chare ki toon ka darshan karle. Manega thik hai. तेरे घर के पीछे है ना समरसेट मंदिर चली क्यों नहीं जाती मैंने कहा हाँ हाँ चली जाऊंगी चली जाऊंगी यू वोंट बिलीव महाराज जस्ट टुक मी फ्रॉम माय हाउस एंड मेड मी गो टू हिज मंदिर इन एरेसन एंड दैट्स एन अदर स्टोरी यू नो हाउ आई रियली कनेक्टेड विथ महाराज लास्ट दिसंबर सो आई वाज सीइंग गुरुजी एवरीवेयर एंड दैट वेरी डे व्हेन आई वाज टॉकिंग टू राजन आंटी uh, my doctor and my dearest friend, Dr. Mona, she called me and she said, Chitali, you have to go to freehold. You have to pick up a freehold from someone. And uh, her brother is a retina specialist. And he's uh, in, you know, somewhere near summit. He said, freehold, you have to go to summit. So I asked, how much time do you have, Dr. Mona? So he said, uh, Chitali, there is no more time. Hai. Because Vatsal, he's going away on vacation and he won't be available for two weeks. 
I said, I don't know, I can make it to Freehold and then go all the way to Summit within one and a half hours. I live in Franklin Park, Somerset, right, right near the temple. So I said, I don't know. But then I kept the phone and I said, I know why you were showing me your presence all the way. You wanted me to do the seva, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. You want me to do the seva? You will, you will make it happen. So I said, OK, come with me, sit in my car, and we'll drive to Freehold. And we drove to Freehold. And all the way, I was chanting, Om Namah Shivai, Guruji Sada Sahai. And then when I reached that auntie's house, she's also a Guruji Sangat. She, her uncle said, Chitali, tu kyu gayi? Dr. Mona kaha hai? To maine bola, mujhe Guruji ne bheja. That was my very word. And I was just, it just came out. And I said, chalo, chalo, Nina Didi, time nahi hai. And I knew I cannot make it. I said, I don't know if we are going to make it, but Guruji, if Nina Didi has to see Dr. Vatsal today, please make it happen. I'm going to drive, and the steering wheels are in your hands. Sangaji, we didn't reach there in time, but he was there, and she saw him. Anyways, when we left um, his office, we were driving down Garden State Parkway, and uh, Nina Didi said, Chitali, Guruji ka man Guruji ki mandir chale kya? Yehi to hai Isilin mein. Mene bula, Nina Didi, aaj Friday hai. Friday ko to mandir nahi khula hota. He said, chalte hai, bahar se matha tek lenge, agar khula nahi hoga to. Then I said, that's okay, let's try. And I was feeling very thirsty. When we went there, we pushed the door of the Isilin mandir and it just opened a jar. And uh, I said, I'm very thirsty. And all I saw was a table laid out with bottles of water. I said, that's Jal Prashad. Oh my god, Guruji, you kept all the Jal Prashad for us. I had water. Then there were some people in the temple, and uh, Nina Didi seemed to know them. And they said, oh, Jai Guruji, Jai Guruji. And then they said, why don't you come in? Then they gave us Prashad. So I said, how come you have prashad on a Friday? They said, no, we have Amrit Vela today here. Uh, I mean, every day at the Edison Mandar, so we serve prashad. I said, do you have chai prashad? And I was, sorry, Guruji, I was being a little greedy. And then they said, no, we don't have chai prashad. But because you've said it, said it in front of Guruji, we'll make it for you. I said, no, no, please don't. They said, no, probably Guruji wants you to have the chai prashad. So, Sangatji, Guruji blessed me with Jal Prashad, Chai Prashad, his swaroop, a bracelet, everything. And I was like, I know what happened. And thereafter, I started coming to the Somerset Temple regularly. But my journey actually didn't start there. My journey started a long time back. I used to have a cousin, and his name, it's so funny, his name was Shankar Narayan. He was Guruji's Sangat in, back in Delhi. He's no more. He passed away at the age of 45. He was Guruji's Sangat, a very dynamic guy. He had his own company, everything. And if he would have told me then that I am, you know, I have a guru, I would have never believed. And back in 2006, my father was very sick. My father is no more. He passed away in 2006. So my mother had gone to Delhi um, to have a surgery at Ames. My father had a surgery at Ames, and his, uh, one of his uh, legs was amputated. He was suffering for a year and a half. And I didn't know till this year that my mother had actually visited Guruji when he was in his, you know, uh, Prithvi avatar. And when I came to know about that, I could see, you know, I could feel the goosebumps. I even feel the goosebumps right now. And she said, yes, I went. I saw him. I didn't connect. The first day I went, he gave me um, the Kara Prashad. And the second day I went, you know, he, I had Langa Prashad. I said, did you speak to him? She said, no. I said, did you feel anything? She said, no. I said, do you realize how blessed you are? 
She said, I, I don't know, you know, I, I still don't feel anything. I'm like, okay, whatever, you know. I didn't want to argue with my mother, and especially about spirituality and her spiritual ev evolution, because I've got nothing to do with that. But then, you know, I said, you know, and at that time, I couldn't visit uh, my father when he passed away. Uh, because I was going through my naturalization process. I didn't have a US passport and neither did I have, uh, you know, it was uh, a processing and I didn't have the Indian visa. So I couldn't go. And I have always been a Shiv Bhakt. So even when my father was dying and taking his last breath, I was praying to Shivji and saying, please do whatever is best for my father. Take away all the pain. If that means he has to leave us, so be it. So Guruji relieved him of all his pain, and he passed away in 2006. So I know Guruji, wherever my Baba is, you're taking care of him. Shukrana mere malik. In 2011, my cousin, who was initially connected with Guruji, passed away. He had a stroke, and he just passed away. I never questioned Guruji on why you know people have been passing away in my family. I guess, you know, he's been, give, you know, giving them salvation or moksha, whatever. Anyways, that was my mother's journey. But she never connected. 16 years later, today, she is one of the biggest devotee of Guruji. She opens her eyes and chants Guruji's name, has the Jal Prashad every day. My sister who didn't believe in anyone but Matarani and Hanumanji. Every time I would say, oh, this guru is here, that guru is here. She said, please, don't talk to me about any guru. I don't believe in gurus. But you know, Guruji has his way of make, turning people into his Sangat. And I had prayed to Guruji, done Ardas. I said, Guruji, please, mere parivar ke jitne sadasya hain, Unko, apne charan kamal mein sharan de do. And Maharaj did exactly the same. My sister today is the biggest devotee of Guruji. I, every time I call her, we only speak about Guruji. That's how Guruji has, you know, blessed my family. Shukrana, shukrana, shukrana. My little niece was forcibly taken to Guruji's ashram in Mumbai. And she came back and she had an argument with my sister. My sister got very upset, sad. And I told her, please do her das to Guruji. Don't get sad. Guruji will have his way of, you know, taking her under his wings. And he did the same. On Guruji's birthday, she had a satsang at her place in Mumbai. And uh, my niece, Avani, she did all the work. She did all the seva during that satsang. Anyways, that's how my family and I got connected to Guruji. Now about a few of the miracles that has happened in the last two, three months. I have another niece who lives in New York. So one day, one weekend, she came over and I said, let's go to Guruji's ashram. We'll have prashad and, uh, you know. Langa Prashad, and she's never been reluctant to come here. Every time I say, let's go to Guruji's ashram, she'll say, okay. And she comes here and she, you know, devours the, you know, holy Prash the divine Prashad. And then the very next day, it was Monday, I went, I drove down to New York City to drop her. She lives in Manhattan. So I dropped her. And she was going through some stress. And I was also, you know, not happy about it. And I'm like, why is it? You know, she, she, she came here. She got your blessings, you know. And uh, why is it that, you know, she's going through some, so much stress? So he said, you know. And I said, okay, show me your presence right now. And Sangaji, you won't believe. All of a sudden, I saw transmission lights pop up on my dashboard my car I said okay now I know you're present here so I kept on you know and I was right inside Lincoln Tunnel 
and I had to come all the way to New Jersey. So it was around 50 miles. I said, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I kept chanting his name, and I reached all the way home. I didn't stop. And the next day, the car wouldn't start, you know, when I had to take it to the uh, dealership. So I had to call, call the towing service. What happened after that is, you know, they, my car anyways had transmission issues. They had to replace the transmission. Fortunately, with his grace and Kripa, I didn't have to pay for it. So everything was taken care of by Guruji. So those are his miracles. So, you know, Guruji has ways of blessing us. One more short one. Okay. So Guruji has been giving me, sending me these messages, just that, I want to come to your house, sit on your sofa, or tere saath galla karna chandi. I said, what are you saying? How can you come to my house, sit on my sofa, and chat with me? I said, I don't know. Sangatji, you won't believe, a couple of months back, they distributed the calendars in the temple. And fortunately, I was blessed with one of them. So I took that calendar home, and guess where I placed the calendar? I placed it right on the sofa. So Guruji sat right on my sofa, and every day when I come down to get my morning cup of tea, I do galla with him. So that's how Guruji blesses us. And then one last, just about the, no? Okay. One last one. Guruji, before his birthday, he's giving, giving me all these signals, you know. I'm coming to your house. You have to recognize me. I'm like, how are you coming to my house? So I'm thinking, is he going to come as the Amazon delivery guy? Is he going to come as the Grubhub guy? I don't know how he's going to come. And on his birthday, he came. So never take Guruji's messages lightly. He came as Rudraksh plant. My friend, who's been trying to you know, gift me a Rudraksh plant for one and a half years, brought me that Rudraksh plant right on Guruji's birthday. And I knew right then it was Guruji saying, I'm here. I told you you have to recognize me. Shukrana Malik for coming to my life. Shukrana for all the blessings. Jai Guruji.